It usually takes me about 20 minutes to commute from my house to the door of my office, and it's taken me about like an hour and a half on average every day. There is growing frustration among T commuters. They say the major delays on the MBTA are costing them valuable time and money. Boston's aging transit system has been plagued with problems for decades, and riders are fed up. Yeah, those riders have seen two derailments in the same week and extra long travel times as well. Now some lawmakers are joining commuters and demanding action from the governor. WBZ's Christina Hager is live for us in Dorchester tonight with the very latest. Christina? Well, David, we are watching the repair work going on right now behind me here at the JFK UMass T stop in Dorchester. This is what's been going on all day, and the governor told us it's still unclear when it'll be done and when the schedule will be back to normal. Tolerance for the MBTA was already wearing thin. Add rain, and a couple days since the MBTA's fourth derailment of the year. Commuters snapped these photos this morning. Crowds and delays still dragging on. I am at least 45 minutes to an hour late to work every day. And it's taken me about like an hour and a half on average every day. The Massachusetts Democratic Party started an online petition calling on the governor to ride the MBTA himself. It's time for Governor Charlie Baker to finally see firsthand what our experience using the T is like. How do you respond to that? Look, I think my job is always the same, which is to work with our colleagues at the T and in the legislature to ensure that the T has the funding that it needs. That's my job and that's what I'm going to stick to. You've got to get on the train once in a while and ride it like everybody else, hang on to the strap and hope you get there on time to understand that plight that hundreds of thousands of commuters are suffering through. Representative Tommy Vitolo rode the beleaguered red line this morning from the UMass Boston station where crews are racing to repair tracks and two signal bungalows damaged in Tuesday's derailment. T workers are manually signaling to trains along the route with no date for a fix in sight. They're not going to know the answer to the question about when uh, for probably several more days as they continue to review uh, the damage that was done. And the T has brought in an independent investigator to look into not only what happened with this derailment, but also the Green Line derailment that happened last weekend. In Dorchester, Christina Hager, WBC News. All right, Christina.